Hey guys, today we're making possibly the most delicious cake you'll ever have. Russian Medovic honey cake. I was blown away by the flavor combination of these thin nutty caramelized honey cake layers and that tangy yogurt cream. You really need to try this one because no words can describe how incredible this cake is. So we're going to start off by making those delicious honey dough layers of the honey cake. To a tall saucepan over low heat, you're going to add some butter. Make sure you're using a tall pan for safety reasons because the sugar mixture will bubble up as you'll see in a moment. Once the butter starts to melt, you can add the star of this recipe, which is of course the honey, lots of honey, and you'll also need some sugar. Now what we're essentially doing is caramelizing the honey and sugar. Sugar. This will add amazing flavor to your cake. If you've never had caramelized honey, now is the time to make it. It's one of the most delicious things ever. You want to stir constantly until everything is combined and dissolved and you're going to bring this mixture to a simmer and you're going to let this simmer for about a minute. At that point you can add the baking soda and whisk immediately. The baking soda will react with this mixture creating bubbles and will give this cake a beautiful light texture. You'll see that the sugar mixture will start to rise, double in volume, and lighten in color. You want to keep stirring until eventually this mixture goes from a pale yellow to a deep honey color. At that point, turn off your stove immediately and this is ready. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. I post new videos every week. You're going to set the honey mixture to the side for about 5 minutes to slightly cool because to it we're going to add some eggs. If we were to add the eggs right away, they would just cook and scramble and obviously we don't want that. Give the eggs a good whisk and you're going to add the eggs slowly in a stream to the sugar mixture while you whisk constantly. This will still be hot so it's important you constantly mix. The mixture you'll see will start to turn an even darker color. That's perfect. At this point you're going to add the flour and salt in three additions. If you want to use a sand mixer you certainly can. I just prefer to make the dough by hand using the same pan. If you are making the dough by hand like I am you'll eventually have to switch um, from your whisk to a spatula or wooden spoon. The dough will become quite thick as you can see and as you stir it it should easily pull away from from the sides of the pan. I'm going to finish bringing it together on my board. It's just, you know, easier than having to finish mixing it in the pan. Lightly flour your work area and you just want to bring it together. We're not kneading it. This is not bread, okay? So as soon as it comes together, it's done. Now this will still be warm to the touch. Some people like to roll it out immediately. I just find it's messy because it's warm, it's sticky. So I do like to pop it in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. The dough will set, it won't be as tacky, and it will be easier to roll out. Okay, so fast forward half an hour later, the dough should have cooled. If it's slightly warm, it's okay. As you can see though, it won't stick to the parchment paper. That's perfect. Now this is where you need to be patient. As I said, this cake is simple to make, but it does require time because because we're going to roll out each layer of cake individually. I promise you it's so worth it. It's that deliciously, amazingly good. So here's a tip for you to make your life easier. Make the layers in advance. You can make the layers up to a week in advance and once cool, just pop them in a Ziploc bag. That's what I do. It's easier, more convenient. That way, all you have to do is assemble the cake. The reason it takes a long time is because Medavi cake has a lot of layers. That's the beauty of this cake. I recommend you make at least six layers, but if you're feeling up for it, with this recipe, you'll easily get 12 layers. You need to roll out each layer as thinly as you can, and I recommend you roll out the layers directly onto some parchment paper or silicone mats if you have those. 
I'm going to make a square cake today. If you want to make a round one, you can use a plate as a guide or a cake rank. Now you can re-roll the scraps. Some people like to bake them off and then pulse them and cover the cake entirely with the cake crumbs. It's really up to you. Now these layers do slightly rise in the oven. So before baking these, you do want to poke some holes with a fork. Now fortunately, I have a big enough pan and I can fit two cake layers. However, if your pan isn't big enough, you will have to cook one layer at a time. Fortunately, these only take five minutes to bake because they're so thin. So the overall baking time shouldn't take you more than 20, 25 minutes depending how many cake layers you've done. Bake these in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit for five minutes. Do not over bake these. These should still be soft when you take them out of the oven. And you'll see what I mean by that later on. Slide these off the sheet and let these cool completely and continue to bake the other layers. Guys, once you've baked all the cake layers, 90% of the work is done. Okay, on to making the frosting. The frosting takes five minutes to make. We're going to make a yogurt whipped cream frosting, which is delicious. The slight tangy cream pairs beautifully with the sweet caramel honey layers. It's so good. You'll want to eat it with a spoon. To a bowl, we're going to combine the heavy cream, yogurt, vanilla, and sugar. And you want to whip these well until medium to stiff peaks. Super simple, super delicious frosting. Okay, so going back to what I was saying before, this is what I mean when I say your cookie layers should be soft. Okay, if you over bake these, your cake won't be soft. So keep that in mind. This is how malleable the layers should be. If you're still watching at this point of the video, congratulations. You are amazing. <laughs> Comment below letting me know. Okay, so traditionally, you just alternate each layer of um, cookie cake with a layer of cream frosting. However, I personally think that brushing or even better dipping each cookie layer in milk just for a few seconds makes the world of a difference. You'll get a creamy, soft cake, guys. It's gonna be amazing, just like tiramisu. Okay, so after you've dipped the layer um, into some milk or, you know, brushed it with milk, you're going to add a thin layer of cream. I always get asked how to achieve even layers of cream and the trick is to either use a piping bag or an ice cream scoop. That way you can portion out every layer and they're all even. You're going to repeat this until you get to your last layer and this cake needs to go in the fridge overnight. I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Emma, I promise you, you will be so thankful to have made this once you try it. I'm not exaggerating when I say it's one of the most amazing cakes ever. The honey biscuit layer will soak up all that milk and cream. So fast forward to the next day. I'm going to trim the sides. Those will not go to waste. I feel like I always have to specify this. I'm not even sure why people think throwing out cake is a thing. I would really like to know who's throwing out cake, okay? You are a monster if you do that, okay? This cake is absolutely gorgeous. You can see all those beautiful thin layers. It's perfect. Now, because this cake is so tall, I'm going to cut the cake into thin slices. And like I said, if you want to dust the top with some leftover cake crumbs, you certainly can, or even some nuts on top would be delicious. If you've never had this cake, to give you an idea, it tastes between a stroop waffle and graham crackers and a nutty honey caramel cake. The flavor is mind-blowing. The cake is so tender, it's creamy and light, and it pairs wonderfully with that sweet, tangy yogurt cream. Mm -hmm.